We're talking about how to choose an attorney. Right now, we're going to play top ten with Joe. Well, Joe. I don't think we're going to go through ten. I, th these are, uh, you know, questions that you may want to ask your attorney, uh, and I think these are the ones I'd advise you to talk. You know, when you meet with an attorney for the first time, especially, and these are specific with regarding injury cases. Uh, and uh, if you go to our website, uh, reynoldsinjurylaw.com, there's a list. Of these ten. Um, questions to ask are out there. In fact, I think it has uh, 11 right this second, but uh, there's 10 questions out there. I'm not going to read all of these, but you know, they, you know, the, in, to summarize a little bit, you know, you know, ask an attorney how many similar cases they've tried. How many cases like yours have they actually, have they handled? And then secondly, have they tried? And if they uh, have uh, tried those cases, what were the results? You know, were they, you know, did they get a verdict? Uh, you know, were there settlements? What were they? Uh, you know, what did they have offers on the table prior to making, you know, taking that case to trial? And what was the difference between uh, the verdict and the offer? So um, these are all questions I think that any attorney who, uh, uh, you know, may well take your case or be, you know, you know, that you're interviewing to take your case, it should be, these are these are questions they should answer for you. And if they're bothered by these questions, I mean, that's a sign. I mean, because right there, uh, the, these are, you know, and I, you know, looking through a few extra, uh, you know, depending on the types of cases that you have, you know, you're, you know, what types of fund funding does the firm have to uh, fund a case? I mean, if you get into, you know, medical malpractice claims or other types of, uh, uh, of serious uh, injury claims, you know, uh, they're very expensive and can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, can the can that firm afford? Uh, to, um, you know, the claim to last three or four years, basically fund, you know, the expenses that go along with that and risk, the, risk those losses too. Can you talk about mediation and arbitration at some point as well, guys? Can you ask about that? Sure. Yeah? Sure. Anytime. Okay. Hey, but just a point also is, you know, a lot of lawyers advertise being trial lawyers. Okay. But very few lawyers that say that actually go to the courtroom. Okay. And if you ask them questions about their results, is the best way to figure out if they actually gotcha. have gone in and argued a case in front of the jury. Gotcha. Oh. Opinions expressed on Law Call are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of 13 WMAZ staff or management, nor any legal or judicial entity. The legal information supplied in this broadcast is general information only and is not intended to be legal advice for any given situation. Do not rely on broadcast information without consulting an attorney. Contingent attorney's fees refers only to those fees charged by the attorneys for legal services. Such fees are not permitted in all types of cases. Court costs and other additional expenses of legal action usually must be paid by the client.